Hey guys, welcome back and welcome on board this Phenom 300E. Uh, we're just picking this aircraft up for maintenance. It's been in for some routine maintenance and having a few small items fixed on it as well at London Stansted. And we're taking it back to uh, its home base at Oxford. So we're currently sat here at Stansted on the western side of the airport in flight and the main route looks something a little bit like this, doing a departure. And uh, then we're going to uh, head towards the Silver, then around sort of the houses to get to Oxford. But realistically, I think, and looking at sort of previous experience, when we get to about 30 miles from Oxford, um, ATC will give us a direct to Oxford and then we'll go uh, in for a radar back to the RLS. The weather's, uh, it's okay, it's a bit blurry, it's about 20 knots or so, it tends to be an average, and clouds seem to be going up and down in between about six, uh, 600 and about 1,000 feet or so, so it's definitely an RLS on the way in. Uh, looking having a quick look at Stansted, we're here on the western side of the airport in flight. Uh, some of the western taxiways have been shut, so I suspect they'll probably give us a taxi to go onto the eastern side of the airport, and then we'll taxi at Papa to uh, hold it, maybe something like Papa 3, and take an intersection departure from there. And the departure we have been cleared for is the Nugbo 1 Romeo which will get us going in a southwesterly direction to three miles and right turn climbing up to an altitude of 4,000 feet towards Barkway. And once we get to Barkway, we'll take a bit of a, uh, a west turn on the radial 258 uh, to get us going towards Oxford. So uh, climbing up to flight level 80, so pretty short flight. We've got 26 minutes on here, but I suspect it'll be a little bit shorter if we do end up with a bit of a shortcut there. Um, and it should be pretty good fun, so welcome aboard and enjoy the trip. That's their ground, Sachs there, zero one Victor, hangar two in flight, we'll go stop. Sachs zero one Victor, would you start up approved with 289 and 907 Hector Buckel, top position before ready for taxi. Start approved, top position, we'll go Sachs there, zero one Victor. Alright, so we have completed the checklist, we have got our ground start guy here. Uh, let me just remember the final item, so the last one was the doors, which you need to do. Starting off the GPU, which has been connected there, and it'll be a number two start, then we'll disconnect and, um, and uh, then start number one using uh, engine number two. So he's there, he's got the light, voltage is good, clear on the left, clear on the right, starting three, two, one. Now, no rotation, ignition A, fuel flow, lights off. Right, looks like a good start, everything stable on the number two side, all happy. GPU can come out, running off engine number two, just get the GPU in. As he's doing that, we can do the stall test. Stall, stall. Stall, stall. Stall, stall. Stall, stall. Okay, that checks, speakers goes off, let's fall back to normal. Wait for to disconnect. Alright, clear left, still clear on the right, reset the stopwatch. So assistance number two will stall up. And start. So number two is falling up to about 72% M2. And running. Number one rotation. Ignition Bravo. Lights off with fuel flow. Okay, good start on both sides, everything looks happy inside, so we can continue with the checklist, so GPU's out, electrical emergency button, so we're just going to press that. Three separates, and we're looking for voltage, which is good. SUVPS, we've done, test panel's back off, FCS control units, we're on uh, takeoff on my side, we're about select, we're all in FMS. Engine takeoff data has been set, so the temperature LFE is green for Oxford. The takeoff speed has been set, split between B1 and rotate, speed 219, BFS at 134. Transponder has been set 6201. Altimeters are on 997, check three times, no yellows, flight controls. 
Let's do a small wiggle there. That's all looking pretty good. Trims 10.5, the check's been done there, flaps indicated a 1, external lights all required just for the time being, and ice protection is not required just for this uh, departure. Taxi now to uh, correction, taxi now to one Victor, request taxi. Taxi 01 Victor, taxi right off, one in point Victor 1. Taxi right off, one in point Victor 1, taxi now 01 Victor. Victor 1 is the limit, so. Going off the eastern side. Like a bit comes off, tax light comes on, he's happy at marshalling, clear left, clear right. So it's using little thrust as well, hanging straight behind us. Bit of rolling, uh, brakes and checks, continue. Alright, so. Start turning the right there. Off to Oxford. Uh, so next checklist is before takeoff. So takeoff, okay. Config checks, cast messages are all clear. Size our let switches, our belts, and uh, on. And just for the charges in the front, your damper is off. Transponder is set. Passengers and lights will come on the runway. Next checklist will be after takeoff. Aircraft, uh, good afternoon again, trying to the Victor Whiskey. We have the information, Julia, here in 899, Dunstan, Clough, Dells, Burr, Burr, Street. Alright, if you're on the right. Line Air 7, Victor Whiskey, Dunstan, Clough, Dells, 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 Clough, Zoom out a little bit, see what traffic. There's one on the RLS, so where do we cross before him? Ryanair 246. Not entirely sure. position, Ryanair 246. Taxi 01, Victor, hold that Victor 1, monitor tower 123, decimal 805. Victor 1, hold monitor tower 123, zero five. Taxi 01, Victor, speak shortly. Uh, Victor 1 scene, scene red, stop us. Right, so expect Bramwood Tower, continue approach 2 2. Continue approach 2 2, and then to expect weather. Saxon 0 1 Victor Tower, have Victor 1 cross the runway. Have Victor 1 cross the runway, Saxon 0 1 Victor. Right, can see he's still uh, a little bit out, not visual with him. Stop bars are out, strobe lights are on. So, crossing onto the next taxiway east inside. When vacated, remain on this break and see the left turn via hotel to hold up Romeo 1. Okay, when vacated, remain on this break and see left turn at hotel to hold up Romeo 1. Taxi there, 0-1 Victor. Okay, easier taxi there. Left on the hotel. Right, Ruby 1, so that's the full length for runway 22, and uh, it's a left hand side holding point. Runway 4, Julian, which we can hold CR1 and 4 ready. We'll go, uh, right now, Julian, which we'll go on channel 1. Approaching runway 22. Right, holding Romeo 1, so parking brake goes up. Don't need this chart anymore, so just on the Garmin. Uh, let's go for uh, charts, and we'll be looking for the departure of the Medro 1 Romeo, which has already been selected. And what I'll do, just so you guys can follow me, we'll show the play there for the Medro 1 Romeo as well. Just make sure we've got a thing, the next frequency is going to be 136.2, 136.2, 4000 intersects. I think we're all ready, so just waiting on that traffic. Right there are one fixed to buy a Romeo one line up to so there'll be a short length to ensure uh, weight turbulence but then be ready immediate when instructed. Five Romeo one line for over and way two two, that's copy tax on Victor. Right, okay, so strobes go on. 
Wendy for the left. Entered runway 22, 3,018 meters remaining. Juliet from the ground, one two one, decimal seven three zero. One two one seven three, bye bye. Back to zero one Victor, wind zero three one nine zero one eight, runway two two, clear for takeoff, inbound three miles. Clear for takeoff, runway two two, back to zero one Victor. Uh, clear for takeoff, landing lights on, stable, first set, ATR green. H not to checks. You want race heights. Positive rate, gear up, light level change. Nice windy day. Runway 22, right now, 7 o'clock, so chill in. Runway 246, echo behind landing 320, short final, by Sierra 1. Just a chilling speed, FMS, autopilot off. Landing in traffic on the short final, clear to line up 32, behind and look around. 1000 feet, clamp zero. Acceleration, we'll go to 200 knots. And I just wanted to go, go on. So we've got autopilot, you're down for my side, flight level change with FMS. 20 knots to accelerate. Runway 22, clear to land, runway 22, clear to land. 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 Runway 22, Manual speed, 220. Vector, good afternoon, Saxon Air Zero Vector, passing 3,700, you're climbing 4,000, number one, Romeo. Vector, one, Vector, that's the budget. 4,000 flashing. Now, oh, great. Yes, yeah, so just keeping the speed uh, back for the turn. It's going to be too tight turns, otherwise, you end up overshooting a little bit. Right, checklist. Okay, this landing gear is up and indicated. Flaps are up, thrust levers are set to uh, just a cruise testing at the moment. Altimeters 4,000 feet, 907 are clearance, your damper is on, and the rest are above 10,000 feet. Not standard landing light comes off, just taxis remote. Zero one eight zero, all right. Can I go to the five two one? Taxi one Victor, fly heading of three four five, climb down, flight level eight zero. Three four five, climb now, flight level eight zero. Taxi one Victor. Right, heading selector 345, right, heading green. Tower with and zero on vertical speed. Nice. Nice. Standard set. Standard. <laughs> 2531, just the base of controlled airspace underneath you at the moment. Expect descent in uh, one mile. So it's going to get quite busy, so after we do the left turn, uh, when he eventually does start to turn his left, we will get the ATIS, plug in the landing data, and uh, get ready to uh, take our descent into Oxford. Southern Cargo 2531, descent to altitude 2000 feet, and cleared ILS. Descent 2000, clear ILS, Southern Cargo 2531, thank you. Yeah, coming out the top of the cloud there, that's pretty nice. Outside air temperature is zero, but the uh, airframe temperature is eight, so all pretty good. I'll just keep the engine out the icing on for the moment. Saxon 1 Victor, turn left heading 255. Left heading 255, Saxon Air 0 Victor. 255 on the heading, heading green. Saxon 1 Victor, compact. <laughs> Nine decimal seven eight zero. Good day, Saxon Air Zero Victor. Radar, good afternoon, Saxon Air Zero Victor, climbing flight level eight zero, heading two five five. Saxon Zero Victor, thanks. Just within the quickly cruising level. No uh, flight level eight zero will do, Saxon Air Zero Victor. Thanks, Zero Victor, and navigation Oscar X ray. Navigation Oscar X ray, Saxon Air Zero Victor. There you go, that's a lucky guess. Thank you, Whiskey November. Oscar X ray. So direct to. Right, now, makes sense, heading sinks. Yes, no speed control. Give us two fifty knots now, a little bit of weather on the nose. 
United Force and right heading zero zero. There's no point to use the weather radar, say it's just showers and stuff too extreme going on. Right, let's see if we can get hold of an ASUS. Taxiway, tax lot closed. There you go, so we have information. Papa, so one on east as you'd expect, uh, wet runway 22015, so across from the right, 10 kilometers of this, gas at 12, pretty nice, temperature 11, kilo 904, we got set on the pre select here. So, going to the Oscar X ray, I plugged in the full procedure, but I think we'll probably get broken off for or uh, radar vectors, and I suspect that'll take us down the eastern side of the airfield. We've got 40 miles to run. So, 10835, want to look. The DME is held at 10835. We've got both frequencies plugged in there, and uh, went on to the flight plan page. Basically, uh, what are we looking Yeah, so outbound 351. So, I'll put the cat C just in case we take high speed. You can always change that. And then the inbound is 191 with a platform altitude of 1800 feet. And then eventually, Mr. Approach, it's Oscar X ray. And uh, then a left turn at 166 to 40. And then we take a left turn back towards the beacon. That's 2500 feet, which is all on here. That all makes sense. I'm not happy with that. Bit of a set in, Cat B, 507. And the only thing we need to do now is the uh, landing performance. Let's get that plugged in. So, weather, runway condition is set. Wind, metal, that's all set. Nice and all space this aircraft. Full flaps free approach. We'll just put 10 knots in since it's slightly gusty. And landing feeds. And I've done all the performance on the ground, but uh, uh, it's basically telling the aircraft to the air given the actual conditions there. So VRF, uh, approach climb 115, and we've got the approach of 125 final set so of uh, 132. Right, let's get some checklists going. So, descent check, so windshield 1 and 2. Uh, we don't actually need it, 6 degrees as the airframe feels it. Pressurisation, LFE is set to green and landing speeds all set. Signs out less as required. Next ones will be approach checks. Uh, London, speedbird 835, with ski, descending flight level 150, radar heading 150 degrees. Speedbird 835, with ski, good afternoon. Not a bad day up here. Hold, unfortunately, but it's only going to be a five minute delay. A few sort of fluffy cubeless now as well, but nothing uh, too extreme. Speedbird 835, with ski, descending flight level 100. Speedbird 835, so what I'll probably end up doing is bringing the speed back uh, before we go outside the Jolly airspace. Depending on where we're about to be are, 220 knots, maybe 200 knots, and looking to uh, get on to the uh, localised at about 170 knots. We'll be gentle descent and then we'll continue the approach of the full flat landing. 25 miles to the east of Oxford. So we'll like to ask for descent. Uh, Saxon has an to request descent. Victor, six thousand feet on the Oxford Cunex, nine at nine at four hectopascal. Six thousand feet, Oxford, nine at nine at four hectopascal. Saxon, there's Victor. Six thousand feet, nine on four. Set twice. Vertical speed. Let's get us going down. Two thousand feet a minute. And we're going to go to manual speeds. Let's start bringing the speed back to two twenty, so we don't get ahead of ourselves. Multi pilot tend to fly a little bit quicker. Uh, single pilot, uh, basically, just uh, taking it nice and easy and. Uh, 
Sir Lenny Aircraft, get ahead of me. There you go, that's 1,000 to go, a shallow rate of descent there. Control, good afternoon, Mark, for checking in from Alpha Delta, descending at level 1, for zero on our radar, getting 265 with the speed 300 knots. So we've got the ghost needles, that's looking pretty good. Descent at level 1, 2, 0, Mark, Alpha Delta. Under right, six Yankee Charlie. Charlie right, so that's up to about 500 meters a minute now. Yeah, six Yankee Charlie, right, we continue left turn, heading 245. Might pick up a small bit of ice, you've got to let the tank to pick that up first before we put the wing stabs on. 6223, November, fine radar, heading 325. Fine radar, heading 325, three bits, three November. Much better, Connor. Fifty miles to run. Techno zero one Victor. Go ahead, zero one Victor. Just be aware there is another inbound from the east. It's two miles to the uh, east of Bryce, tracking towards Oxford. It's quick and slow compared to you, so uh, just be aware of that. So thanks, Techno zero one Victor. The problem is Techno zero one Victor. My server seven eight copy of Oxford one two five decimal zero nine zero. Good day. Okay, I'll copy it. Oxford one two five zero nine zero. Good day, Techno zero one Victor. Let's get in there first. Oxford, good afternoon, Saxon Air 01 Victor, 6,000 feet to the Oscar X-ray, Phenom 300, we're Papa. Saxon Air 01 Victor, Oxford Radar, good afternoon, Quebec, Q-Nation 993, Hexapos Golf, expected traffic service on leaving controlled airspace, and radar vectoring for the ILS approach from my 19. 993, and uh, traffic service, radar vectors, ILS, runway 19, current heading 255, Saxon Air 01 Victor. Saxon Air 01 Victor, thank you, continue heading in descent to altitude 5,000 feet. Continue heading and descent to altitude 5,000 feet, Saxon Air 01 Victor. Uh, 5,000 feet, that's set, vertical speed. Skyflight 43, reduce traffic information yeah. from water end, whilst you're operating the Oxford radar overhead. 50 miles to go, and that's stopping the speed back to 10. Grass, no data, we'll just cancel that one. That's no 01 Victor, flight heading 330 degrees. Heading 330 degrees, that's no 01 Victor. That's no 01 Victor, so you just have to see space, traffic service. Traffic service, that's no 01 Victor. 330 set, 5,000 feet set. Yeah, so bring the speed back. Gives me more time to think. Nine, three, single pilot, and also, it, uh, especially being outside controlled airspace now, things can crop up very quickly, so uh, just gives a bit more maneuvering space. Set up to 3,000 feet, Saxon Air Zero Victor. Right, uh, 3,000 feet set there. Let's go speed down. Uh, speed coming all the way back. Let's cut to 180 knots. Approach the checklist. Uh, external lights, as required for the time being. Passengers, they have none. Cross feed is confirmed off. Altimeters are set across checklist. Turn left heading 280 degrees. Wide race drag 17 miles from touchdown. 280 degrees. That's copy, taxi. That's all, Victor. So it's so, set. So next will be before landing checklist. We can go procedure. Activate vector to final. Lock one, lock one green. Lock two shown on the uh, P2 side. Right, rate of descent looks pretty good. Speed's coming back quite nicely. Get a little bit more rate of descent there. Just going to use a little bit of speed brake just to wash off that final bit. Yeah, so expect you pretty lucky final. Saxon Air 01 Victor, turn left, heading 270 degrees, descent to altitude 1800 feet. That's 270 degrees, descent to altitude 1800 feet, Saxon Air 01 Victor. 270 heading green, 1800 in the select, shallow flow rate of sensor wee bit. Yeah, you can start to see where, you have a look at the airspeed indicator, you certainly start to see the lumps. So I think that's gets down, have a small level segment, and that's used to speed brakes. Let's go speed at 170. Yeah, if you end up high in this jet, you can certainly have a little bit of trouble. 
Uh, speed's coming back nicely. Next frequency tower, 133430. That's one to go, Sim. Uh, show off that rate of descent just a little bit more. Final speed, 165. Just give myself more, just a little bit more than 10 knots buffer on the uh, flat margin speeds. Otherwise, we can end up in a bit of trouble. <laughs> Alright, look good there, got a few miles to the localizer, speed checks, flat one set. Back to FMS speeds. Skyflight 43 is in the hold 4000 feet. Skyflight 43, Roger, report ready for the procedure. So we are Skyflight expecting a letter very shortly. Saxon 01, Victor, turn left heading 220 degrees, close to the LS approach from my 19 220 degrees, clear to LS approach from my 19 Saxon 01, Victor. 220, headed green, approach selected, lock white, GS white. Only thing have to do there is reselect 2500 when we uh, level off. Nice bit of sun in my eyes, but fingers crossed once under the cloud, that will disappear. Okay, so glad to have started to come in, expect to come on the localizer very shortly. Okay, our green, 1800 feet. Uh, it's actually 2005 for the missed approach if we need it. Both glasses coming in. Turning on quite nicely. Clear for the Alice, no other radio calls needed. Heading synced. So we're going to speak quite a low uh, platform mouse here, they're saying 1600 feet per airfield level, so it's going to get stable nice and quickly. Skyflight 43, I'll request one more hold and then I'll be ready for the procedure. Skyflight 43, Roger. Alright, uh, guys, connection 01, Victor, contact the tower 133, that's more 430, bye bye. 133, 430, good day, it's Saxon 01, Victor. Speed checks, flat 2, come back to uh, 150. What's this hour? Ground speed of any 125. Watch the target off these, Saxon Air Victor, Harness, uh, runway 19, 4.5 miles. Saxon Air 01 Victor, Oxford Tower, good afternoon. Runway 19, wind 210 degrees, 19 knots, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 19, Saxon Air 01 Victor. Uh, speed checks, full flap. Landing checklist. Your damper will come off with the autopilot, landing gear, the EBIT is down, flaps are still travelling, so we'll just hold it there. Full flap indicated, and airspeed come back to the approach, and the chat is complete. Rolling to the end, wet runway, so we'll get the majority of the braking uh, done early. Uh, fast speed above airfield, stable. Uh, TANE, that's the advisory, whatever you're below 1000. Engine anti ISIS can now come off. Right, Autopilot. Pilot. Flying manually. Just get my hands in for this. Wait, check. 210 degrees, 19 knot. 500. So 15 knots from the right, 30 degrees off. Uh, we're going to speed back to VRF. 400. Three hundred. Minimums, minimums. Continue. Two hundred. One hundred. And we're down. On the brakes, ground spot is green. The acceleration. Carbon brakes warming up there. Sixty knots. Now let's let it roll out. 
That's landed at time. Two thousand. So taxi now zero one big go big get left at the end taxi to maintenance area four via taxi at Alpha and you are to self position. That's the end maintenance area four via Alpha self position on uh, MA four taxi now zero Victor thank you. Uh, Twenty knots towards the end. Won't read the figure the aircraft until we've located. Yeah, quite gusty on those final bits. Uh, coming off the runway, taxi line strobes, flap selected up. Turf landing checklist, flaps, lights, and transponder to touch there. Next will be shutting down. Hi guys, welcome to Oxford. I'd say a bit better weather here than I thought it was going to be, albeit a few gusts, so that's a pretty cool flight. <laughs> Enjoyed that one, it's a little bit different to the uh, DA42. So we're taxiing to MA4, which is a brand new open on the uh, northeast side of the airfield. Which uh, where this aircraft uh, lives. Yeah, the apron's pretty flooded. We certainly see they've had a bit of rain here recently. Probably uh, some of that stuff that we flew through on the way, yeah, way over. We flew over just about. Yeah, so this apron is complete self positioning. The uh, tower hasn't got a view of it, so uh, once we cross the ME4 holding points, everything is at our discretion. So uh, I'll park it to the south, so we're facing more or less into wind, they'll probably park it just uh, outside the uh, right hand hangar hang doors as we're looking at it. There we go, right hand A little bit of asymmetric thrust using the left engine. Right, finish with a taxi light. Turn there. Yeah, all clear. That'll do nicely. That'll help the guys out picking it in. Nice reflection of the aircraft in the windows. So, parking brake on just before we shut down. I'll say goodbye because that will probably knock the audio out. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that flight and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. <laughs>